Hey y'all, it's my review for Basketball Wise, episode 17. Again, like my jersey review, this is gonna be brief because I got a pack for Austin. So, um, the episode opens with the ladies looking a lot like aunties. I don't know what they are wearing, but looks like they wanna feed the ducks. What happened to luxury? Like, what, what are they doing? Like, where are the yachts? Like, where are the, the trips? Something. Anyway, as they're walking, you know, um, What's that jailbird name? British. So British is talking about how she's getting that ankle monitor because she violated some rule that was set by her parole officer. She was going to Houston for business and that just so happened to be a violation. So a little later on, Jackie brings up Malaysia to the other ladies. And by the way, it's Jackie, Brandy, British, and um, Brooke all together. She lets them know that Malaysia actually quit the show. Brandy said she had a hint that Malaysia was leaving, but it was never confirmed. But Brooke, she's completely surprised and she's actually angry. She says, Crystal, did Malaysia quit the show? Like they totally just broke the fourth wall just now. Crystal is some random white woman producing this scene and she's like, Yes, Malaysia quit the show. And just like Brooke, I'm wondering if you're having money troubles, especially getting child support out your ex, why would you leave like your only main source of income? Like what sense does that make? Now side note, let me preface this by saying that I like Brooke, but um, this BBL that she has is very distracting in this scene. Like her ass is pointy, literally like a, like a traffic cone. It's so jarring. Like, does that look good to her? Does that look good to y'all? Jackie's trying to say like a factor of Malaysia leaving was, you know, some of the things that was said by Jennifer and some other things that are coming out. I mean, welcome to being on a reality show. <laughs> She's been on it for 10 years. Does she not know how this works? So here go Brandy again, talking about Malaysia. Production asks, are you going to miss Malaysia? She's like, I don't have the relationship that I had with Malaysia. I miss the throwback days when it was me and her. It was cool. Girl, it was a yes or no question. British now talking about her drama, saying that what Malaysia going through is child's play compared to what she's going through. I'm sorry, but the scene of them, like what they're all dressed as, like these, they look like aunties. Like they just got off the sofa from watching TV and they just, you know, going outside to feed the ducks. Where is the luxury? Lord, hammers, they look so pedestrian right now. It's just a little distracting. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, so next scene we're with Duffy and her fiance, baby daddy. I want to fast forward, honestly. So it looks like they have a therapy session coming up and they both think that they don't have communication issues. Okay. Um, side note, Duffy, you do look good in this confessional with this hair. I think the thing is Duffy just doesn't have the head to have a shortcut. Let's just say that. She's not talking about how she's not getting along with Brandy. And I think their feud is so stupid. Like it started over what, Malaysia and how she was getting close to her. And then it just spiraled into something else. I personally think Brandy's the problem. Oh, I don't care. This scene is just so staged, y'all. So next scene we're with Brooke and she's talking to a lawyer about finally moving forward with her divorce. Now I didn't know this, with California, like the process takes six months till the day she serves her husband with divorce papers. Six months? Jeez. Anyway, Brooke is absolutely positive she wants to move forward with this divorce. Like he cheated on her, it's a one and done. She's ready to move on. So next scene, it is the return of Angel Brinks. Like we see Jackie FaceTiming her. She's wondering when she's gonna come back around the girls. She tells Jackie that in due time, ladies can all come over and see the baby. But she's saying that clown of hers is very protective of the baby and just wants some time to go by. Now Angel Brinks, I would say, at least she has the luxury and she actually lives in LA. Now as far as those confessionals, Lord have mercy, what she's wearing, tacky, acky, acky. Oh, it's so tacky. The more I even look at it, this purple get up, where is she going? So next scene we're with Brandy and her husband. Now, you know, they both live in Texas, but Brandy flies to LA to film basketball wise, which I think is just so sketch. So her husband's visiting her and they're overlooking the balcony. This view is trash. I don't know why they think this is like, oh, this is different from Texas. I hate that view. Y'all, please let me know what part of LA are they in with that view. So the issue with them is they're going back and forth because Brandy, I think she wants to move back to LA. 
or did she ever live in LA? But her husband, he's fine with being in Texas with their son. Brandon's like, I moved for you throughout this whole marriage when he was playing basketball. Was he playing in the NBA or overseas? Y'all let me know, I don't know. But it looks like he ain't budging and Brandy is over it. So next scene, we're at British's apartment rental and Jackie's coming over to visit. It looks like she officially has her ankle monitor and she shows Jackie and Jackie starts crying. <laughs> What? Jackie is wacky. Like she's looking at it. Oh, it, it, it's so big. I never seen one. It, it, it's cute. <laughs> Moving on. Like y'all, nothing has happened. We are 23 minutes in. How many more episodes are there left? I, I was so optimistic at this second half of the season. Oh, <sighs> what have I done? As British is talking to Jackie, it looks like she's taking some accountability for the crime that she committed. Uh, but... She definitely just has a somber energy, like she knows she's going to jail. So they continue to talk and at least Bridget still has her sense of humor. I mean, with Jackie always by her side, she'll have someone to laugh at. So next scene we're at Brandy's with Jackie coming over. Um, she's testing out drinks for her new cookbook. It looks like this drink she making um, is Grand Marnier, a little bit of orange juice and Prosecco. So mimosa with Grand Marnier added. Groundbreaking. Then next, we're at, um, whose house is this? Is it Duffy's? Jennifer's? I mean, all their apartment rentals look the same, but it's Brooke, Jennifer, and Duffy, and Brooke is just telling them how she's moving forward with her divorce. I noticed we're just seeing Jennifer halfway in the episode. I mean, how's it going with her new man? Like, they haven't talked about him in, like, two or three episodes, and Malaysia isn't there anymore for her to beef with, so what is it there for her to do? And is LaMarco Prosecco sponsoring this show? Because in almost every scene, they've been drinking that Prosecco. Ah, uh, so I see what they're doing. So they're going back and forth between scenes, like Jackie's talking to Brandy, and then you have Duffy talking to Brooke and Jennifer. Uh, they have their little fake beef going on. Brandy's saying, well, you don't talk about my husband. I don't play behind my husband and my kids. Now, okay, Candy, I don't think she was trying to talk about your husband in a malicious way. Like, you brought up her husband, I mean, fiance, going to counseling, and then she only brought up your husband, how you dismiss him. Like, she didn't say it in, a, like, a malicious way. She didn't call your husband a bitch. This is just so fake. Like, Duffy and Brandy going at it? Who cares? These two ladies are really sitting there in this apartment rental, drinking mimosas with a plate with a bagel on it, along with some cream cheese, a tomato, and a red onion, I think. What am I watching? Lord have mercy. Next scene, we're with Duffy and her fiance again. Looks like they're about to start therapy. Duffy, what the fuck is this in your confessional? Seriously, what is this? No, I gotta show, show y'all. What is this? Do y'all get a, a clear picture of this? What is this? What is that? I am tired. This show is ridiculous. So their therapy session begins. They're talking about their communication issues. My fucks are slowly running out. It looks like it's going well between them. Good. Fast forward. Next scene we're with Angel, who's filming by herself again. We see her kids. They're very cute. She's being a good mom. Fast forward. So next scene we're with Brandy and her husband. They're doing a cooking class together. She again brings up the issue that they have with her wanting to move to LA. It's funny as well as a little bit distracting how they have to add subtitles whenever her husband speaks because he mumbles so much. Okay, so it looks like this time around that he agrees to move out there with her. I'm not sure, but it's probably because I don't really care. He speaks a lot like Boomhauer from King of the Hill. He's like, you can barely understand what he's saying. Oh man, I, I think I will. You know, oh, you know, man, man, you know what I'm saying? Oh Jesus, it's still not over yet. So we 48 minutes in. So next scene, we're with um, Brooke, and she's holding a little gym event for all the ladies to work out. So most of the ladies arrive uh, with their waist trainers, and uh, the ant butts are on full display. Let's just say that. Is this what we do in VH1? We watching them do stretches right now? Struggling doing stretches? What did I do? What I, I did not sign up for this. I thought they was going to do better with this show, but it's just going downhill. Like, nothing has happened. I am bored as hell. I'm just insulting this show. And, hey, if I can entertain y'all by just insulting this show, then fine. I'll, I'll do that. So now British arrives with her ankle monitor on full display and the ladies are almost cheering her on. 
So some time passes by, the ladies are finished with their workout, and now they're all just talking. The ladies are now divided into groups of two, and they're talking amongst each other about Duffy and Brandy's beef. The ladies in Brandy and Duffy's group are both telling them that they just need to talk to each other. Duffy says she's known Brandy for 19 years, and I'm thinking, if you've known somebody that long, why would you get into it over something this petty? I bet they can't even remember why they started fighting with each other. So the ladies are all now together again, and Duffy and Brandy can finally have their conversation. Okay, so as they're talking, it slowly turns into an argument when Duffy says, just don't say my ninja name. And this is where it all stems from. Like, first it started with, like, Malaysia, and now, like, the second time they talked about it, they brought up each other's husbands, and that's when they got personal. So now their beef is about them bringing up each other's men. This is so stupid. Child, and I have to be continued, but I don't give a fuck. I don't even care to see the preview for next week. Y'all let me know in the comments what you hate most about this show. And whose side are you on? Brandy, Duffy, or you just don't give a fuck? Let me know. With that, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all for the next episode. Maybe. Bye.